hello guys welcome to my channel this video is going to be very important short but very important from the practical point of view because on site you will have to deal with slope or gradient if you are working on a building site or a road site so this topic is going to be very important so in this video we are going to discuss three different scenarios or you can say three different cases to calculate the slope okay so in case number one we will find slope in case number two we will find rise and in third case we will find run so let's start first of all let us define what is slope or gradient slope is a surface of which one end or side is at higher level than another as you can see over here this at this place is at lower level and this place or you can say this point is at higher level so the line joining these points these two points is called as slope or gradient it is also defined as it is the rate of rise or fall along the length of the road with respect to the horizontal and gradient is the measure of how steep a slope is and slope is expressed in the form of percentage degrees or ratio i have made a detailed video about how different slopes are represented in different forms the link of which is given in the description or you can click on the i button on the right side of this video to watch that video it is also very important so let's discuss the first case in first case the rise is given which is 500 millimeters the run is also given which is 1000 millimeters and we have to find slope first of all let us convert the unit as this is in millimeters and this is in meters so let's convert this 10 meters into millimeters what we will do is 10 multiply by 1000 we will get a uniform unit okay then gradient is equal to gradient or slope or more or less are the same so gradient or slope is equal to rise divided by run and it is also if we expressed it in the form of percentage then this factor will be added which is 100 so rise divided by run rise is 500 as you can see over here this is rise 500 and the run is uh, you can say y divided by x y is 500 and x is 10,000 millimeters so we will get this value which is 1 divided by 20 which is also expressed in the form of ratio is equal to 1 in n or you can say 1 vertical and 20 horizontal 1 ratio 20 and if expressed in percentage then multiply by 100 we will get 5 percent so 1 in 20 or 1 ratio 20 is equal to 5 percent that's how if rise and run are given you can find slope from these two values let's proceed towards case number two in case number two slope is given we are solving the same problem so uh, that you can compare the results okay slope is 1 ratio 20 run is 10 meter find rise okay so we will have to find rise in the second case again gradient as you know rise divided by run and arrange it it for rise as we have to find rise arranging this equation so rise will be equal to gradient multiply by run and gradient as you find in the previous slide 1 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.05 so 0 point putting the values in this equation rise is equal to 0 0.05 multiplied by 10,000 we will get 500 millimeters so rise is equal to 500 millimeters and if we talk about the third case slope is given rise is also given and we have to find run this is the horizontal distance we have to find the horizontal distance again gradient is equal to rise divided by run and rearranging this equation for run so this equation will become rise divided by gradient and putting the values as gradient is equal to 1 divided by 20 1 in 20 means 
y divided by x which is equal to 0.05 so rise is 500 and the gradient is 0.05 we will get the run is equal to 10,000 millimeters so this is the simple formula to calculate slope in different forms so that's all for today for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates